Hi, so I'm with Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland. This is part two of the video. I've just found my first find. Look at that, it's still caked and uh, looks like ash and mud. So, yeah, let's go and we'll flip you around and we'll give you a little look at it. It's a lovely bit of pictorial pottery again. So, yeah, let's start part two of the video with a little nice find. Well, here we go, a lovely bit of pictorial pottery there. Well, of course, it's lovely and floral, isn't it? Beautiful flowers, looks like it's from a vase or a bowl. Probably I would go for a big vase there, if you ask me. Looks like it's from a vase. Some very nice finds have come off this beach. So yeah, let's have a look and see what else is going to come out. So next find is a little clay pipe. Another blander. You wouldn't believe how many bland pipes are down here. Loads of them. Just loads of them anywhere you go there. No matter where you do or what you do, where you go, what you do, you will always find bland pipes. There you go, I've just had one of the most beautiful finds off the beach you're probably ever likely to see. Mini cod. Who it is, I don't know. <coughs> John Mackay, Edinburgh, Glasgow and Newcastle. You little f beauty. Woohoo! Get in. Love a little cod. Very rarely do you see these come out. I've never seen a John McCain core here. Well chuffed to bits with that. I've got a couple of guys behind me. What it is is they're chopping wood with an axe and I don't really want to get on the wrong side. But yeah, there you go. I found a lovely little bottle. And of course, that is a cod bottle. John McCain Co. Glasgow. And I'll get that cleaned up and I'll show you it later on the round up. I started mudlacking over here, I found myself a lovely bit of floral pottery. I'm going to go kind of along the embankments now and just see if I can find anything along there. But yeah, there you go, it's a lovely bit of floral design pottery. That's probably from some sort of ornament of some sort. As you start lacking along the embankments here, we should find more stuff. We're starting to see signs of more pottery here along this embankment. I've never been along here before. Bit of floral design pottery again, that's from Maybe a bowl or a cup or something like that, but there's definitely embankment uh, trip in here as well because I'm already seeing signs of it in here. There you go, look at that, there's embankment tip pottery stuck in there, stuck in amongst coal embers. It's tip in there. Another proof of it, walking along a little bit and I've got a full clay pipe stem. But who is it? It's a blank one. There you go. That's rare. Rare do you see a blank clay pipe stem, but yeah. Saying that, the name would normally be round about here. And it's not. <laughs> go, more classic signs of a tip. Another big clay pipe. It's got a bit of design round the top. Give it a wipe, but yeah, we'll just wipe it on the grass here. See, it's got a bit of decoration around the top, nothing special, just an old clay pipe, more modern, 1930s I would say. Well, there we go, I've got another clay pipe, that's blank as well, let's just clean it just to make sure. A fragment of the beach I says I'm on, yeah, another blank clay pipe, loads of them here. Spotted something else a little minute ago, looks like a big bone, yep, just up here. Fragment of an old bone, commonly used in Victorian dumps. Just spotted this in here with the pottery. You can see the pottery in there. See how it's lovely and crusty. So is the clay pipe. Jeez, oh, I don't think it's going to make it. <laughs> Check the colour of that out. I don't think that's one I've got as well. Do you know that? Yeah. <clears throat> These embankies also have been exposed, you can see the ash in there, so there'll be finds in there to be had. Need to explore this place, uh, I will do it at some point, I just don't have the time right now. Another fragment of a clay pipe there sticking out the embankment I've pulled out. Definitely stuff here, it's just hard to find. Found the neck of a stout bottle, there's got to be more of them here. I found a full one here before, and just had a full one for this part. So yeah, here you go, that's the neck of a stout bottle. 
if there's one there should be more that's what I always say so I'm just kind of heading over these rocks and let's just see where it takes us let's be where this tip fades out because you can still see the clay in there I've just found another clay pipe sorry I mean ash you still see that ash situated in there behind this front clay whether that clay is just a front bit of clay like embankment tip what would happen is they would come and tip clay at the front because it takes it would take literally the foreshore hundreds of years to get this clay weathered away back to ash so yeah but look at it's starting to go back to ash which is a good sign that this this place needs you know investigated down here I found a fragment of a lid and amongst the rocks that's off an ornamental lid it could be modern it could be older than that it could be back in victorian times but i'd probably date this around about edwardian times see another bit of the embankment that's exposed which i'm going to go over and have a look at see where fragments of the wall have been broken away and it's just got torn right into the embankment that's the part i'm trying to get to over there but it's very hard to do at high tide so yeah i'm going to maneuver my way over there just now and have a little look about and see if there's anything in that embankment it looks like clay but there does look like slight bits of ash but yeah i've mistaken stuff like this before for not being a tip and i've been wrong so yeah it's worth a little investigation let's go and have a look yeah the top of the embankment is slight bits of ash found a clay pipe in there not much on it again just a blank clay pipe this is shipyard material where we are here it's all shipyard so you know i wouldn't expect anything less than loads and loads of clay pipes because back in the day every guy had a clay pipe they all smoked and drank and it's kind of the right combination the right area to find these clay pipes well i've just had a wee find i dug into the embankment where i just kicked it and a wee bottle fell out look at this it says for consumption coughs and asthma god i wonder what that was used for obviously coughs and asthma but <laughs> yeah I wonder what it was, whether it was just like a cough mixture or something like that that helped you breathe, that, you know, if you got the flu or anything like that. Interesting. I must look this little bottle up and try and find out what it was. Some more potteries came out. I found just walking these embankments. It's hard here. I'm going to call it a day soon. But yeah, there you go. Some lovely bits of pottery. Heading back towards the beach and we'll do that again once we get there. And we'll just let you guys know what we get. Well, there you go, I've found another two fragments of clay pipe. It says OBD Balm or something like that. Is it Old Balm it says? OFD Balm. Don't know what that is, never seen that pipe before. Glasgow. And the other one is. Yeah, it's just a blank fragment, maybe the other, no, it's not the other fragment of that pipe, it's a different pipe, but yeah, there you go, part of another clay pipe stem. Another stem there, just as I was about to leave, part of another clay pipe stem, nothing on it, I'm heading towards the beach, let's head to the beach and just see what we can find, hopefully we'll get something nice. As I'm walking along, I found a little inkwell, beautiful, see it looks like bits of iron and stuff eroding out these embankments as well this reminds me of another dump and uh, yeah i've got loads of dumps to investigate i've just been having a bit of fun mud larking and uh, beach combing because there's loads of finds out there to be found you just got to find the right beaches and uh, and you will find stuff shout <coughs> i found it look at that it's a blue ink well just kicking at the embankments in here and stuff's coming out that's a blue ink well you can tell look underneath it you can actually see the the lovely bra color of blue coming through yeah that's a lovely blue ink well woohoo very nice nice find that i love finding a blue ink well that'll go into my collection I've got loads of them i do love them but so keep every one i find yeah if you just look in here you can just basically see a wall through the trees Basically this wall is uh, from the old railway tracks that used to run through here. Obviously the railway lines now have changed, probably about a couple of hundred metres up the road. But yeah, this is where the old railway lines, this was the low line. And now it's the high line. But yeah, it doesn't exist anymore, no longer open. But yeah, this is where the, the low line railway tracks were. 
This I've just found an old building where I'm out mud black and it looks like a Victorian wall garden actually. Look at that. Yeah. That's a Victorian wall garden over there. Unbelievable. Hiding away in the woods. Look at this, there's the old cobbles. That's where the old horse and tracks, you know, the old horse and carts where they come in the tracks. This could have been where they stored their horse and cart. Over the old cobbles. You see the wall garden right back there. The size of these walls. It's just amazing what's hidden inside woods, so yeah. This place is going to need a proper investigation, I think. Well, it looks like I came across an old house. Water pump. Jeez, oh. This looks asbestos filled, so yeah. Jesus, it's been on fire. How anybody could arbex this, I'll, I'll never know. Have a quick look. That's danger to the high heavens in there. Jeez, oh. <coughs> yeah, this is far too dangerous. We're not going to do any arbex in here. Yeah, most of it's been bumped to the ground. I wonder if I can make it up these stairs, eh? <laughs> I think not. Look at the state of the roof as well. Yeah, this is too dangerous. Let's get out of here. It was fun where we were in for like a couple of seconds. You see people have been coming here having a drink and things like that as well. There you go. I wonder what type of house this is. It's Victorian anyway. Look at the old tiles still up there. <laughs> Must have been the kitchen.